And okay, class, good day. Let's continue the discussion on your second part of your orthopedic nursing, and today we will be discussing about your fractures. Okay, talking about your fractures, class, actually, sinabi na natin on your previous discussion that um, one of the causes of fracture is actually the low no? uh, amount of calcium in our bones caused by increased resorption. So, lumalabas kasi yung calcium natin no? from the bones, pumupunta sila sa bloodstream, which we call the process of resorption. So now, let's discuss about the types. Okay, una natin i-discuss class ang types of your um, fractures. Number one na type class. Okay, number one type class is yung tinatawag natin. Of course, alam na alam natin to the closed fracture. Okay, unang type again, the closed fracture. Otherwise known class as your simple fracture. Ulit, the first type of your fracture is a closed fracture. Otherwise known as your simple fracture. So, dito po sa simple or sa closed fracture, no break, okay? No breakage. Of course, isulat niyo No breakage in the skin. No breakage in the skin. Or meron tayong intact skin, okay? Tandaan niyo there is no breakage in skin or meron tayong intact skin. Okay, pangalawa. Number two po, number two na type ng ating fracture class is yung tinatawag natin open. Open, open fracture. Okay, otherwise known class as your compound compound fracture at pwede rin siyang tawagin actually complex fracture. So latin nyo, okay, it can be called open, it can be called compound or it can be called your complex fracture. Dito of course obviously may breakage na sa skin, okay, may breakage sa skin and then tandaan ninyo class. Dito may tinatawag tayong risk, high risk na of infection market. Ika nga, kasi alam natin, di ba, class, na nagbukas na class, okay, open yung wound, may open wound, okay, may breakage in the skin, so there is now high risk for infection. na class, ang tanong, anong type of inf infection ang common dito, class, yung tinatawag nating osteo, isulat niyo myelitis, isulat niyo the osteomyelitis class. Osteomyelitis class is the inflammation class of bones, that's why it's osteo, and then maye, inflammation of the muscle, itis class. Ang tanong, kung ano ang most common class or what is the causative agent class of your osteomyelitis class, isulat niyo caused by Staphylococcus aureus. Okay, isulat niyo Staphylococcus aureus or OS, S. aureus. Okay, now, let's continue. The third type class of your fracture class is yung tinatawag natin green stick. Isulat niyo green stick, green stick, green stick. Fracture class, this is otherwise known as your incomplete, incomplete fracture. Okay, again, green stick fracture, otherwise known as your incomplete fracture. Now, dito sa green stick na to, remember that one side, okay, of the bone, okay, is broken. Okay, pangalawa, merong yung isang side naman class, one side is bent. Okay, one side is broken, however, one side is bent. Okay, that's why called it is called class na incomplete. Okay, now, number four. Number four naman class na type ng ating fracture class is yung tinatawag natin comminuted. Comminuted fracture. Comminuted. Okay, sulat niyo Comminuted fracture. Okay. Kapag sinabi natin comminuted fracture class, ito class yung type ng fracture na kung saan meron tayong splintered sulat niyo splintered okay splintered into pieces okay into pieces or 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 fragments ibig sabihin class merong nadurog na part ng bones ang tawag natin doon class is your comminuted fracture okay and then the last one class is yung tinatawag nating pathologic fracture okay pathologic fracture which is cl class Madali lang tandaan to dahil sinabi natin pathologic class this is due to due to due to a disease okay due to a disease or a condition isulat ninyo class okay now alam na alam na natin to mabilis ang review lang what are the causes of your uh, i mean what are the different types of your fracture number one, closed otherwise na simple pangalawa open compound or complex pangatlo green stick or incomplete and then pangapat comminuted yung durog and then number five is your pathologic caused by a condition or a disease okay now let's continue what are the signs and symptoms class ng ating uh, fracture Okay, again, what are the signs and symptoms of your fracture? Number one, of course, 
Number one class is there is a pain. Of course, isulat ninyo, there is a pain. And ang karakteristik po ng pain dito class, it's very, very sharp. Okay, isulat ninyo, it's very, very sharp. And it is related to, remember class, na ang pain natin for your uh, fracture class is related to movement or motion. Okay, isulat ninyo, kapag gumagalaw ka, nandoon yung masakit. Okay, now number two. Number two class is meron din tayong loss, loss of movement. Okay, loss of movement. Tandaan ninyo, meron tayong loss of movement as a sign ng inyong fracture. Pangatlo, pangatlo class isulat ninyo, meron rin tayong deformity. Okay, meron rin deformity kasi nga nagbago na yung sa... Uh, Nagbago na yung length, either nagbago yung form class ng inyong bones or a limb na kung saan nagkaroon tayo ng fracture. Okay, pang-apat class, remember, number four. Number four class, isulat ninyo, meron rin tayong tinatawag na crepitus. Crepitus. Okay, crepitus is a sound class. It's actually a tick or a sound class that is created by friction. Okay? That is created by friction. Tandaan ninyo, ang tawag natin doon ay crepitus. Now, number five. Number five naman po, tinatawag, meron po tayong tinatawag na eke, ekemosis. Okay, ekemosis. Na kapag sinabi natin ekemosis, this is actually a sign class of internal bleeding. O, okay, it, it is a sign of internal bleeding. Okay, now, manifested by accumulation of um, blood no, sa spaces natin. Okay? Sa uh, interstitial spaces natin. Okay. Now, so just say for example, in the case of your uh, skull fracture class. Okay. Skull fracture, nagkakaroon tayo dyan ng type sub ekemosis. Okay. Ang uh, example ito class, example kapag ang ating pong ekemosis class ay nakita natin sa peri. Sa peri, peri orbital periorbital area. Halimbawa, in the case of your skull fracture class, meron tayo sa peri orbital area, ang tawag natin doon class is what we call as your raccoon's eye. Isulat ninyo. That's what we call as your raccoon's eye. Raccoon's eye. Raccoon's eye. Isulat ninyo. Just like yung high, di ba yung animal po na uh, raccoon, parang ganun po. Like may dark circling sa ating eye or the periorbital area. Ang tawag natin doon class ay raccoon's eye. No, upon the other hand class, kapag makita naman natin ang accumulation cl class ng blood, no, sa ating um, nape area, okay, dito sa likod class ng ating neck, okay, in the nape, in the nape area class, kapag may ekimosis sa nape area, ang tawag naman natin doon class, it's your battles sign, isulat niyo, it's your battles sign, okay, battles sign ang tawag natin doon, okay, now number 6, number 6 class, another na signs and symptoms natin class for your fracture, is of course, may to, meron tayong swelling, Isulat ninyo, may swelling and this is due to inflammation. Okay? Du due to inflammation. Isulat ninyo. Okay? And then, next, number 7. Number 7 class. Number 7 naman class, meron tayong tinatawag na shortening. Okay? May shortening class of about 1 to 2 inches. Isulat ninyo, of about 1 to 2 inches class ng ating bone because this uh, I mean ng length ng ating limbs this is of course due to isulat ninyo due to spasm isulat ninyo due to spasm okay due to spasm okay so those are the signs and symptoms number one pain of course very very sharp ang pain natin dito related, which is related to movement so number two my loss of movement trend and then merong deformity my crepitus Okay, a sound now or a tick created by friction. May ekemosis tayo which is a sign of bleeding po. Halimbawa, class, sa ating skull fracture, sa periorbital area, ang tawag natin doon ay raccoon's eye. No? Kapag sa nape area naman, class, mayroong tayong tinatawag na battle sign, class, kapag doon yung ating bleeding. Now, another sign also is yung swelling, class, due to inflammation. And also, of course, my shortening of the limb, no? about 1 to 2 inches due to spasm or too much con traction of your muscle okay now how do we manage class what is your management class for your fracture okay isa isahin natin yan number one class okay number one is of course dahil nga kanina sabi natin there is a pain as a sign class due to um dahil class merong a uh, pain no due to dahil may pain due to 
uh, movement or to motion class ang goal natin class is number one to immobilize the patient okay to immobilize the patient patient how do we do that okay apply apply splint isulat niyo apply splint po ang gagawin natin so of course this is to 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 avoid avoid isulat niyo to avoid further further trauma or injury okay to to avoid further trauma or injury so we immobilize number one po natin management number two Number two, pangalawa po natin gagawin class is we need to assess, assess, assess the neurovascular, neurovascular, neurovascular class. Okay, neurovascular, neurovascular nating uh, assessment or the, or the neurovascular status. Okay, so how do we assess this neurovascular status? Of course, we only follow the six piece kasi ito po yung makikita natin. Six piece. Okay, ano ang six piece na ito? Number one. Number one class is yung tinatawag nating pain. Ayan. Pain. Okay, pain. Ang gagamitin natin dito is of course through the pain scale. Okay, alam natin yan. That is for adult class, we use the numerical pain rating scale. Upon the other hand, class naman kapag pedia, we use class D, Wong Baker scale. Okay, now number two. Number two class, we also assess for paresthesia. Okay, we also assess for paresthesia. Okay, now paano natin ito ina-assess? We assess the sensation class kapag may karamdaman pa ba or nagnanamd na ba class or namamahinid class. Okay, we assess for that one. Next is your paralysis. Isulat niyo paralysis class. Okay, now it has something to do naman with the motion class. Okay, with the motion of the limb na affected class. Now next naman class, we also assess for the pallor. Okay, it has something to do naman class with the color. So how do we do this class? We do the capillary refill. Isulat niyo the capillary, capillary refill test. Okay, sa ating limb na affected. Okay, now next naman class, we also assess for poikilo, poikilothermia, isulat ninyo, poikilothermia, or simply class, the polar temperature, makikita kasi natin yan dyan eh. Okay, it has something to do with the temperature naman of the limb that's, that is affected class. Okay, and last but not the least for our neurovascular status for our 6-piece class, we assess class your what we call as your pulse okay kasi most of the time class ang hinahanap dapat natin dito pulselessness is positive class okay pulselessness is a sign of a positive class na fracture sa ating pasyente and then taking this one take note i have to put an asterisk here class we always assess for for the distal the distal kasi tinanong to once the board class we assess for the distal class na pulse Okay, now, next class, okay, let's proceed class to your next, okay, na uh, management, next na management, okay, next na management, number one, immobilize, number two, assess neurovascular status, and then number three class, of course, we give medications, okay, we give medications, so, ano yung mga medications na binibigay natin dito, okay, now, we, firstly, example, we give also your NSAIDs, okay? We give your NSAIDs. So, of course, this is, alam na alam natin to, to lower, okay, or to decrease, to decrease, okay, to decrease pain or to manage pain class. Ang example ng drug na binibigay natin dito, which will also help in diminishing the inflammation class, is your ibuprofen. Isulat niyo ibuprofen, or pwede rin tayo class gumamit class ng naproxen, okay? Naproxen. Okay, sulat ninyo, ibuprofen or naproxen. Ano pang ibang drugs class na ginagamit natin dito? We also give class your muscle, muscle, ilagay ninyo, muscle relaxants class to avoid class yung uh, sinabi natin kanina because there's shortening due to class spasm, no? Sobrang spasm ng ating mga muscle dyan. Now, we give muscle relaxants class at ang example na Uh, drug na binibigay natin class dito is your meto isulat ninyo metocarbamol metocarbamol ang brand name class is robaxin okay metocarbamol ang brand name class is your robaxin okay now this is the third uh, management na gagawin natin next of course number four number four naman class is ginagawa rin natin class yung reduction reduction or realignment isulat ninyo reduction or realignment which is a surgical procedure okay a surgical procedure na ginagawa natin sa ating pasyente okay na may fracture okay isulat ninyo and then next class another also surgical uh, 
management na ginagawa natin kay patient aside from redu reduction and realignment class okay yung tinatawag nating amputation class kapag hindi na class pwede nating gawin yung reduction and then realignment okay so anong ginagawa natin dito sa amputation na to of course we surgically okay surgically removal or surgical removal okay surgical removal of of a limb okay the surgical removal of a limb so ang example po natin dito it, it can be your aka or your above the knee amputation or your bka or below the knee amputation okay so yun po kapag nasa hin po dito class kapag if if the remo, if the cutting class if the cutting is done no in the joint in the joint that's not below amputation class that's not below that below below the elbow or below the knee or above the knee or below the elbow but it's what we call as your uh, disarticulation isulat niyo disarticulation po ang tawag natin diyan class okay disarticulation okay so yan po ang ating uh, management class for your um Uh, for your fracture so next management po natin aside from amputation class we also do the cast or we also give the cast okay another management po ay nagka cast po tayo ang goal natin dito okay for your casting is to immobilize immobilize the patient po i mean the the side po or the affected ng fracture class na limb ni pasyente natin okay so what are the um We will be making a separate um, discussion for this uh, management and cast special topic po siya. So let's have that. Let's put it this way na uh, isa siya sa mga management. And also class, next na management natin aside from your cast class, ginagawa rin natin class number 7. Number 7 class, we will also, which we will also be having another class na uh, management class. I mean management presentation class okay this is what we call as your traction which is no siya yung nagsisilbing pulling force class for the realignment immobilization class and then correction class ng ating deformities so ang goal po natin dito is for realignment class no realignment okay isulat ninyo realignment and then immobilization okay immobilization and also class na ginagawa rin natin to to correct Correct, correct, to correct what? To correct deformity. Okay, sulat ninyo, to correct deformity. Yan po ang goal natin. Okay? In your um, uh, traction. Okay? So, that ends our discussion for your um, fracture. So, we will be having the next Uh, discussion for our orthopedic nursing on the topics of traction as a separate discussion and also for separate po for our um, cast okay have a good day